back to Dirty Talk, my YouTube channel for doing it yourself, whether it's cooking, cars, sport, hobbies, whatever. So today I just wanted to start, we've got a lot to cover over the next few years, I think. Well, I know. And what I wanted to start with was just some simple tasks, some simple vehicle maintenance tasks. And the number one thing that you should know if you're operating a motor vehicle is how to change a tire. If you're driving along, everything's fine, and all of a sudden, boop, 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 and your tire goes flat. Now what do you do? You pull over, making sure you pull over safely, and then what's next? You call auto service and wait for them to arrive? Or do you not wait and do it yourself? Save yourself some time and save yourself some money because I'm gonna tell you, especially now in the pandemic, the auto service and roadside assistance programs, they're all very busy, overbooked, and sometimes you'll be waiting two to four hours on the side of the road. And I'm here to say, you don't have to. You can do it yourself. It's very easy. It's one of the simplest tasks and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step today how to do it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by looking in the trunk or the boot to make sure that you, the vehicle owner, have all the materials necessary to perform a flat replacement. So this is gonna be a multi-step video. I'm gonna go and we're gonna, we're gonna first identify what you need and then the second part of the video is gonna be how to get the car up in the air. And the third part of the video is taking the wheel off and putting the next and putting the replacements there on. And you'll have to forgive me, this is all unscripted, just coming right out of my head. Um, I much prefer doing things unscripted, so I hope you'll bear with me. Just focus on the core tasks and we'll be fine together. Okay, here we go. So, first things first. We wanna identify and check that we have everything we need in the back of the car or in the side of the car. You know, it depends on what kind of vehicle you have. Always consult with your owner's manual to make sure you've got everything you need. Now here's my boot, right? And I'm going to lift up this carpet because according to the owner's manual, this is where my spare is. Underneath here, there's my spare, there's my jack, and there is my lug wrench. And you're gonna need all three of these to get your car, uh, to get your spare replaced. You're gonna need a spare tire, of course, make sure that there's air in it. So even before you start driving, make sure, take a tire pressure gauge, and we'll do a video on that as well. And I want you to check the tire pressure of your spare. I want you to check your jack for proper operations before you ever use it. And I want you to check your lug wrench. And I'll tell you this, it's not a bad idea to practice this at home before disaster strikes. Why? Because when, if and when, and it's inevitable, you, whether you have a new car or an old car, you're eventually going to get a puncture or a flat on the highway or on the side of the road. Practice at home, practice in your driveway, practice on the side of the road, and get your technique down so when the, the time comes where you actually do have to do this, you're prepared and you know what to do.